Hey, how are you doing, Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Rise of the Ronin Boss Guide. Today, we are going to be taking on Kokoro Katsura and Tezo Miyabe. Uh, this is going to be the boss fight that's going to happen if you side with the Shogun. So, first up, these guys are just going to be in here. And then, I'm trying to get Kokoro's uh, attention here, so... Yeah, I want to take him on first, and then take on the other guy. The other guy's pretty easy. So, the team should be able to handle him. This guy has combos going into red attacks. It's usually 4 hit combos, and then the 4th hit will be a red attack. Sometimes he does have 3 hits. Um, this bottle, be careful, because that's oil. This is a 5 hit combo, but they're all neutrals. So, after the 5th hit, uh, if you get a stun on the Hayabusa stance, uh, you can go in for the slam attack or the suplex, as they call it in this game. And there we got the stamina break, so going for the crits. The crit does do more damage than the suplex. Alright, there's a 3 hit combo. When he jumps up in the sky, that's guaranteed it's gonna be red. Alright, so just parry as it's coming down, don't do it too early. This is a 4 hit combo, and then the 4th hit is a red attack, I ate it there. Uh, it's red attacks aren't too devastating, and by the way, this guy, uh, he does decent uh, stamina damage, so be careful about blocking too much, or, you know, depleting your stamina and trying to block right afterwards. So that's why I'm not getting in too much hits. Like one or two hits and then back away because I want to be able to block his attacks and parry his like last attacks. So they do also have Keyblades here and all his attacks are still the same except he has Fire Hunt Sword and this is where his little oil thing is very dangerous. That move that he just did where he sent out the, the sword waves, it's a two hit sword wave and then he'll follow in with one regular attack and then a red, and then a red attack. So this can also happen in the first phase, like before the sword blaze, or the sword blaze, the key blaze. So yeah, it's just something he can do uh, if you're far away from him. He doesn't always do it, but it's it's something <laughs> that can happen. So just, just so you guys know, you can parry the, the sword waves. If you're close enough, you can even stun him from the first one. Alright. One, two, three, four. It's the red attack. See, I just, I don't know. My timing, my parry timing is just off. Not that time, though. There we go. Alright, pop a heal. More oil. Alright, getting like two hits back away. Make sure you still have good amount, a good amount of stamina. There we go. And wow, this guy's like hanging on by a thread here. See ya! Now, on to his sensei. So, this guy, he likes to spam his flamethrower a lot. He does have melee attacks, but he rarely does it. When he's throwing the flamethrower attack, you cannot, like, you cannot stagger him out of it. So, that's what makes him dangerous. Uh, but it's easy if you have at least one ally with you so one of you guys can attack from the side because he's only going to be targeting one and then like just don't stand on the same side <laughs> as your ally just be on the other side like if you have to you can switch your allies like switch to your allies and then whack them be careful with the bombs uh really easy to just avoid them because it doesn't explode right away so yeah, and that is how you defeat these two duos. And yeah, uh, mission completes. Let's go ahead and take a look at our equips. So using the katana and then rifle. And oh, I was running the shurikens that round. <laughs> Here's the full ninja set. You can get that by ranking up Salamura's bond level 2 max and here are my stats and the stance or the style the Hayabusa Ryu style and here is the difficulty I'm playing on 
And yeah, uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has helped if you are struggling against these two bosses. And if it did, hopefully you all will stay tuned for more. But until next time, I hope to catch y'all later. Homes out.